Hello, goaltending students. My name is Guillaume Duclair. Welcome to Goalie Smarts. All right, three more, come on. I've been making Goalie Smarts since November of 2015, and this is episode 50. I've gotten a lot of suggestions to make an episode called How to Be Guillaume Duclair. The problem is, Guillaume Duclair is a pseudonym. And for those of you who have had too many concussions, a pseudonym means fake name. My real name is Nick LaBeouf. Contrary to popular belief, I am not actually a qualified, well-informed NHL caliber goaltender generously lending my skills because I care about the children and want to save the whales. None of this is true. In reality, I'm just a 21-year-old greaseball from New England trying to make strangers laugh over the internet while peddling merchandise and pissing off concerned parents. I am shamelessly riding the waves of the social media gangbang and I'm constantly testing the boundaries of YouTube's monetization policies. For those of you who are messed up enough to want to follow in these footsteps, good news, I'm about to show you how. In this episode of Goalie Smarts, I'm going to use a combination of brutal honesty and self-deprecating humor to paint a vivid picture as to how this wonderful operation known as Goalie Smarts with Guillaume Duclair came to be. This is Goalie Smarts episode 50, How to Be Guillaume Duclair. How's it going, guys? My name is Nick LaBeouf. I'm a stand-up comedian. I'm a YouTuber. My second job is at this place called Olympia Sports. I don't know if anyone here is familiar with Olympia Sports. You know that place where uh, pedophiles go and get half off the beat of track pants? <laughs> yeah, that's the place. It's like Dick's Sporting Goods with less sporting goods and more dicks. <laughs> Step one, give up your NHL dreams to pursue comedy. If you think I'd rather be doing this bullshit than be in the NHL, I want your drug dealer's phone number. If yoga and meditation are the fastest ways to self-salvation, stand-up comedy is the fastest way to hate yourself. You walk in thinking you're hilarious, and you leave believing there is no God. I've been doing stand-up comedy since I was 16 years old. Uncoincidentally, that was the same time I tried out for five junior teams, made one spot as a third stringer, and concluded I wasn't gonna make the NHL. I realized I was better at running my mouth than actually playing the sport. Think back to when you first learned to skate. You probably used milk crates and old man walkers until you could get your footing. Now imagine that same learning curve, but experiencing it in front of a small group of alcoholics taunting you on a Wednesday night. No alcoholic at a bar on a Wednesday night wants to hear a creative young man test his stand-up material. They want to get drunk and hide from their problems slash bounty hunter. Open mic comedy shows are often referred to as the ninth circle of hell. I guess that's what happens when you give a microphone to inexperienced comedians and experienced crackheads. When I first started doing stand-up, there were no 16-year-olds at a comedy show. There were only angry hipsters in their late 20s complaining about porn, and uh, angry men in their late 50s complaining about kids these days and porn. Some would consider the phrase open mic a euphemism for an AA meeting with the stage. It takes years of trudging through this shit before you get any good. And just then, just then, you might get some pussy out of it. But if you're in the NHL, you get pussy as soon as you sign the contract. So keep that in mind. I was standing right by my mother-in-law when she took a bad fall and broke her leg. She's laying there on the ground in front of me. She looked up and she said in a much more menacing voice that I could even begin to depict right here. She looked up and she said, well, don't just stand there. Do something. So I, 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 I shot her. <laughs> Okay, that story's not 100% factual. So to set the record straight, my mother-in-law did not break her leg. <laughs> Step two, make up a character. Back in 2015, after the success of my pond hockey video, I sat around and thought, I just ripped off Dude Perfect. Who can I steal from next? And the answer was not one, but two YouTubers more successful than I am. Don Mazzetti, Kent Murphy. Both of these YouTube avatars are played by comedians living in the shadows of their own creation. Everyone knows Don Mazzetti and Ken Murphy, but far less people know Mike Tornabene and Nick Hall. Because Don Mazzetti is an Italian meatball and Kent Murphy is a Southern American who hits dangers, I figured that Guillaume Duclair should be some sort of ethnicity. Uh, I figured he should be a frog straight out of Quebec. Uh, and if you listen carefully in episode one, you can literally hear me give up on my shitty French accent halfway through the video. Hello, goaltending students. My name is Guillaume Duclair. Welcome to Goalie Smarts. Chokes on a thousand dicks and lets in hundreds of thousands of soft goals. Step three, make up a bunch of shit. 
I don't know how Guillaume Duclair evolved to be this degenerate anti-goalie coach with a drug habit, but I've been able to milk 50 episodes out of this act, so I'm not complaining. That's all there is to it, kids. Stay in school and don't be a YouTuber. You might think I'm hilarious. You might think I'm a force. You might think the blonde girl in the videos was my sister. You might be one of these goalie smarts purists who think I've lost my touch after episode five. But I'm the same jackass making the same jokes about the same position in the same sport. I'm Guillaume Duclair, and I ain't going nowhere. I'm out. Bitches.